Rengar succeeds by observing his prey from a distance and searching for that perfect moment to pounce on his target and secure the kill. Rengar's a knife cat that haunts the dreams of squishies everywhere, and this preseason's giving him more tools for the hunt while giving his opponents more space to react. With the exception of Bola Strike, nearly all of Rengar's abilities have been changed, so let's start with the biggest, his ultimate. Activating Thrill of the Hunt grants him movement speed and camouflage, meaning that he's visible to enemy champions that get too close, similar to Evelyn. While camouflaged, Rengar reveals the nearest enemy champion and can leap to them for a guaranteed critical strike. Moving right along, we'll touch on his two passives, Unseen Predator and Bone Tooth Necklace. Unseen Predator now maxes out at four ferocity and leaping to enter combat gives him one stack right off the bat. After using any empowered ability, the Stabby Tabby gains a burst of movement speed to keep the hunt going. As for Bone Tooth Necklace, trophies now increase Rengar's overall damage, but only stack on unique champion kills. Both the basic and empowered versions of his Q, Savagery, strike twice, once in an arc and then once in a line. It's also a skill shot now, so you can miss it, but it deals more damage and you'll look pretty cool. Finally, Battle Roar now heals Rengar for half the damage he's taken in the last few moments. When empowered, Battle Meow breaks crowd control and makes Rengar immune to incoming CC for a brief duration. When considering your empowered abilities, Savagery isn't always the right option. Choosing the correct skill can be the difference between securing a kill or going home empty-handed. Here, empowering Battle Roar could have allowed Rengar to ignore CC and stick to his target for first blood. Thrill of the Hunt lasts significantly longer than it used to, so you can use it to scout out an area and get a sense of where everyone is hiding instead of just jumping on the first target you see. When you're sure that your target is isolated, go in for the kill. To learn more about the preseason Assassin update, check out the full list here. We'll be back next week to take a closer look at our other gameplay updates.